study today I like to give you some information concerning relation between human activity places of human occupation and presence of deposits of minerals let's start from paleolithic workshops and mines one of these uh, mines and workshops uh, is uh, present near Częstochowa, this region of Poland. The, the place is uh, called uh, Gojsc. Gojsc Ważne Młyny is difficult for, for pronunciation for foreigners, but is as is. And there is a uh, river Warta, this blue, and on the banks of this river at this place are localized uh, places of exploration, so called old mines, Paleolithic mines, uh, and uh, workshops where, uh, where flints present in the deposit were worked were prepared in form of various implements. Let's look to the geology. So there is Varta River and lower terrace and upper terrace. <coughs> At lower terrace are localized holes, uh, places of exploration of <coughs> flint gravels and next they were taken to this upper terrace where uh, functioning workshops uh, producing various type of implements. This is not my, my business, so I will not say detaily what they produce at this time. The, this site and this mine and is, is of upper Paleolithic Flints are Jurassic at the second position, like gravels, it's the lower terrace and upper terrace. And cross section uh, across the place of exploration look like this. There are, there are natural gravels and uh, not very deep uh, holes filled up with uh, various uh, material. There are some <coughs> worked flints, there, there is sand, ma many various kinds of materials are present <coughs> at this place. When we look more closer to the flint present at this, uh, this holes, at this uh, old ma places of exploration, as you see, we have, we have various type of flints. Uh, th th there are scales. Uh, there are macro photographs made using uh, mm, binocular, binocular microscope. <coughs> and these flints, a gray of gray color, contain mostly halcedon and opal and uh, iron uh, sulfates, making them blue, gray, uh, this various variation of, of colors. <coughs> when, f when flints are uh, oxidated and s sulfates are oxidated, uh, there are secondary formed iron oxides and uh, hydrated iron oxides and because of this, other flints are of uh, brown color, reddish, uh, very, very many variations of brown and, and reddish color. So there were uh, Paleolithic uh, mines and the relation between deposits of flints and <coughs> human activity. People people in at Paleolithic time uh, migrated to the banks of River Varta and 
collected flints, <laughs> explorated flints. Let's go to other place, some words about site gr group Graben in Lower Au Austria. There were performed uh, uh, exploration and investigation of mixed uh, Austrian, American and Polish uh, group s s specialists and the site is loca localized at this place. There's border with Czechs, border with Germany and Austria. At the east we have Slovak, uh, uh, Czech Republic. <coughs> um, site is localized near uh, on on higher uh, terraces uh, uh, of higher banks of uh, river uh, river camp going into the uh, Danube valley <coughs> and this site <coughs> is localized sorry because of this is localized at small valley there is marked place of exploration archaeological trenches uh, many exploration was conducted during long time and uh, at fire places were discovered uh, black stones surrounded by light sandstones and uh, limestones but in inside this this black arrow show the 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 black stones type of gabbro in petrographic uh, classification <coughs> for what they, they put at Paleolithic time, <coughs> Gabro to, to the fireplace. But one day, after strong rains, part of slope of the uh, valley <coughs> fell down and it appeared at this moment sedimentary rocks. Uh, when we look closer, there were uh, kind of sheets uh, built of uh, mud stones and intercalation of carbon, carboniferous uh, uh, layers, black carbon uh, were present in thin, thin layers. So we did examination of uh, ash present in this, uh, in uh, this. Uh, in these um, fireplaces and we uh, discovered that this ash is after burning of the black coal. <coughs> so examination uh, document that at Paleolithic, at various times of Paleolithic to this small valley of group Graben migrated peoples because they knew at this time that there is black a black stone uh, which makes fire, this means black coal, but they could not distinguish, uh, select black coal and gabbro, they are similar, gabbro is of course more heavy, but black and black they put together to the fireplaces and um, only Gabro was preserved because it's not burnt, and uh, black coal was burnt, and we have ash. So it's documentation for one of oldest use of black coal to make fire. And they migrated, people migrate, migrated to this place because at uh, Paleolithic uh, end of Pleistocene there was no trees, there was no wood, there was no material for fire, so they discovered that black black uh, stone, let's say uh, black coal, is possible to use as a material for, for fireplaces. M place archaeological site is very exciting, <coughs> many interesting things was discovered, uh, various bon bones of uh, animals from Pleistocene, 
uh, Reindeer and, and other other very fascinating book is printed, uh, if I remember, in, in Belgium. Um, let's say, look to Neolithic time. I, at Neolithic time, we have many places of exploration of various uh, raw materials, but uh, one of the most interesting and uh, unique is there are underground mines, Krzemionki-Opatowski at Holy Cross Mountains in central Poland. So it's localized there is Poland, uh, places where we have these underground mines. Uh, there are prepared for tourism now and underground corridors prepared for tourists look like these. We have limestones and at limestones uh, concretions of flints. Various. There is dark cho type chocolate flint very good for napping and this is ben banded flint, very beautiful now, is used as jewelry stone for preparation of various jewelry objects. Uh, it's a long story, but uh, people at Neolithic discovered place where are flints. They collected flints from the surface. There is plenty of workshops. They work on these flints, preparing uh, various implements. And later, when, when these uh, surface sources uh, were finished, they go under the surface and start to make corridors and start to do uh, underground exploration at Neolithic time. So we have relation between raw material deposits of flints and human activity. And uh, this banded uh, flint uh, under microscopy look like this. These darker uh, laminas, darker laminas, contain slightly more opaque minerals, mostly iron sulfates, pyrite. And this light contains smaller amount of uh, Sulfites. Let's go to Neolithic, uh, other place. Uh, at Neolithic, early bronze uh, start to be explorated uh, deposits of salt. Salt deposit Neolithic, early bronze present up to present time. Vilichka near Krakow, mostly now for all uh, all peoples even was uh, <laughs> uh, was uh, 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 opinion that uh, Krakow was uh, built near of Wielicka because Wielicka produced salt and uh, a lot of money King obtained from the exploration and production of the salt in Wielicka and Krakow was the capital at this time. <coughs> Underground, uh, everything started most probably because of observation of animals. Uh, animals migrated to the so salty springs in Wielicka. They used salt from the surface, from the salt salty water. And people start to do exploration of this water at special uh, vessels, which uh, is original uh, vessel of, of uh, a vessel, ceramic vessel used for uh, production of the salt. Uh, salty water was uh, burned, and uh, when uh, water disappeared uh, on the bottom of this vessel were collected salt used for, uh, for various uh, reasons. The examination made by me uh, 
the show that s salt inside on the bottom of this destroyed vessel is not present, but we put all the uh, all this ceramic vessel to the water and uh, relics of salt uh, present in the walls of vessel were dissolved later water was evaporated and on the bottom of uh, uh, laboratory glass we obtain very small crystals of salt this means still salt exists inside and there is some pictures, a few pictures from the uh, crystal grot, the crystal cave in, in Vilicka, very beautiful, known in all world, uh, big crystals, uh, even up to half a meter uh, of the size, and old uh, picture of old underground uh, corridors and, and uh, um, places of exploration covered with secondary forms of uh, halite salt. In deposits of copper, um, I did examination of deposit and mineralogy of uh, copper deposit in Slovakia. Uh, exploration most probably was started uh, at the uh, Bronze Age and was up to end of uh, medieval. Uh, even in 20th century there were done some some minor works. The place is called Lubietova near Bajska Bystrica in Slovakia. And there is the map of, of Slovakia showing location of uh, Lubietova near Bańska Bystrica, Bańska, to jest Lubieto Bańska Bystrica, to jest Lubietowa, there are old mines. And trances to old underground uh, corridors and, and places of exploration look like this. Uh, there is scale, my uh, MSc student. Uh, he did uh, examination of rocks and uh, all products of exploration uh, left uh, up to today uh, you may, one may one can find uh, very beautiful pieces of mineralization of copper mineralization and uh, mineralization with copper uh, is uh, present together with quartz in quartz veins. There is plenty of various minerals, and under polarizing glide microscopy, uh, pieces of uh, this type of, of uh, material, raw material, look like this. There are quartz uh, grains and sulfates various sulfates of, uh, of uh, copper and uh, flakes of uh, muscovite and in part of chlorides. And at this place uh, was great exploration. Uh, it means that at the uh, region of Bańska Bystrica, Bystrica uh, material uh, minerals, copper minerals were explored exported to Poland and from Poland to this region was uh, 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 sent in the me me medieval was sent uh, lead minerals, galena, sphalerite and so on containing silver and as you see because of presence of copper minerals it was very big activity at region of, of deposits. Uh, it's necessary to imagine that these forms are near 100 meters high, so exploration was, exploitation was really very big. And some words about jewelry stones. I did examination of turkeys 
um, present in uh, Temple of Hatshepsut in Upper Egypt. Uh, it uh, is temple uh, built during 21st dynasty more or less and uh, at this time uh, near of mine uh, um, object of my mine uh, this this um, Hatshepsut temple there were small uh, chapels at, at these chapels, uh, as well at this, as well as at this uh, big uh, uh, temple, were painted figures, uh, sculptures, but using Turkish color. So, first we did examination at the temple, and next we did uh, uh, exp. Survey at Sinai. Uh, there is a region of Temple of Hatshepsut near Luxor, and this uh, Wadikana Valley. And from this place, we went to the uh, let's say southern part of Sinai. In this picture, from this southern part of Sinai, and there are traces of old exploration of uh, Tarkis. We find some small pieces. Uh, they were taken to Poland, to my laboratory. They look like this. As you see, this the scale, about three centimeters, small pieces, but beautiful stone. And under the microscopy, uh, microscopy, polarizing light microscopy, this uh, forms look like this. It's uh, evidently seen that it's not one mineral, but this uh, composition of various minerals of, of, uh, of copper. There are turkeys, of course, that are present too, phosphates of I I iron and uh, copper. And uh, after grinding, uh, they were used uh, uh, as pigments for painting in the temple, in not in Hatshepsut temple, but uh, many temples in Egypt. <coughs> so there was exploration of Turkey's human activation uh, activity at this at this area, and uh, export of Turkey's maybe in form of of colors maybe in form of small uh, pieces of tur turkeys and co composition, various complicated minerals, and was th this material was transported to the uh, Valley of the King and to the Temple of Hatshepsut. So deposits at Sinai were reason of activity activity of humans at dynastic time. Not only copper, not only turkeys, but many minerals were imported from Sinai. In Egypt, at dynastic time, were used uh, uh, red pigment. These pigments were used for painting, paintings of uh, sculptures at temples and at tombs. Um, all uh, objects showing uh, human activity, human peoples working, uh, uh, praying, etc., leave uh, which were alive, they were painted to a red color using hematite, mostly. But people's da dead um, in tombs, for example, they were painted in green color. So if we look to the picture in temple or in the tomb, in King Tomb, in King Valley, King's Valley, we may discover immediately that part of people's is uh, alive 
uh, they are red, they have skin red, and some are uh, green, and these are dead peoples. Uh, I, I did examination at Deir el-Bahari and surrounding area and Upper Egypt, uh, looking for deposits of hematite. And these uh, con concretions containing hematite were discovered at Esna shells. Uh, there is top of <laughs> Hatshepsut temple is not seen. Uh, it's a small valley be beha behind uh, El Sheikh in Gurna, who works in Egypt, he knows what, it, what this is. And in uh, these shells are present concretions like these, which uh, contain hematite. Other minerals are present too, but as uh, minor components, domin is do hematite is dominating mineral. And at Coptic time, this means about 200 years after uh, uh, pr at present time, um, at, at tombs of uh, at dynastic tombs, uh, some selected uh, tombs of, of dynastic time uh, were uh, Coptic chapels. So it was a re reutilization of tombs uh, for chapels. And uh, at these tombs, dynastic tombs, uh, on the walls are painted red Christian symbols. There's the cross and uh, other objects, uh, Santa Maria and other. And for the pa pr painting, were used red color made of hematite. Of this hematite, locally locally collected uh, from Esna shells. There is picture of fragment of, of uh, uh, painted object with traces of, of painting. As you see, there are linear traces of painting. So, um, peoples at this, uh, living at this area collect, collected a long time this hematite and uh, probably from the uh, dynastic time, uh, this red color, this red hematite, was used for paintings in tombs and in uh, in chapels and in uh, various architectural objects decorated with the sculptures. The sculptures were pa were painted uh, into into red color. So we have a relation between deposit of hematite and human activity. And this means collecting of the hematite and preparing of red colors for painting of, of objects in tombs and in, in uh, temples. Iron, uh, some uh, iron uh, time. Iron Age. Um, it's interesting uh, situation because uh, together with uh, Dr. Karwoski from uh, Austria, we did examination of Celtic uh, Celtic pottery, black pottery. It's a region of Camp River. Uh, Celtic sites. This map was prepared by by Maciej Karwoski. All, all these materials were prepared by him. So th there is archaeological site too now, and uh, location of two most important sites, archaeological sites at the at two now. There is Camp River is, is going. So, during examination of this Celtic pottery, I discovered under the microscope 
small fragments of iron slags. And of course, it, they were uh, uh, done photo documenting uh, presence of these slags, etc. And during discussion with Dr. Karwowski, I said, if there are slags, uh, iron slags, iron uh, slags uh, uh, um, produced during the melting of the iron minerals, it suggests that at this area there are old mines of, of iron. And I went from Poland to Austria uh, and we did survey <coughs> at the region of Camp River, this is uh, uh, River Camp. Uh, and uh, on the base of our uh, of geological map, we tried to localize places where are possible, where is possible presence of old iron mines during Celtic time. And going from place to place, we discovered a few places evidently uh, uh, where there was evidently exploration of iron. There was probably a hall of kind of, of uh, a place where, where iron uh, minerals were explored. We discovered there mo mostly hematite, getite iron minerals and pieces of slag. And this is a uh, place where, where uh, material was uh, uh, collected. This uh, uh, material uh, without iron minerals. So we collected pieces of, of iron minerals and slugs, and these material samples were taken to the Poland and were prepared thin sections of slags and of course uh, these places near iron veins, this blue, there were places of exploration of iron. And what uh, was uh, uh, additionally uh, discovered by Dr. Karwowski that only in Austria, only at this area, these blue points, there are points of Celtic deposits, of Celtic uh, archaeological sites. So it's seen that it was is relation between presence of iron deposits and human activity, very well seen. And uh, iron was melted and uh, small pieces of slag by uh, the way of producing of pottery were mixed with the ceramic mass and uh, we observed this under the microscopy. So as is seen and is known for many people, there is a strong relation between presence of uh, deposits of minerals and human ap activity. The same we have today in Poland. It's a great relation between uh, deposits of copper at Lower Silesia, uh, a region of Głogów, Lubin Głogów, big uh, underground mines, and uh, very uh, uh, intensive <laughs> exploration of, uh, exploitation of of uh, deposits and growing of towns, population, etc., etc. When these sites, uh, are, uh, these deposits will be explored to the end, all will collapse because there will be no reason of presence and activity of, of man, at man at this area. So thank you for listening and welcome for next uh, next meeting. Thank you.